Hello everyone and welcome back. We're here once again at the uranium mine and I'm here with Jesse. Howdy ho everybody! And we're hoping to get some more on tonight. So we're here in the evening. We're gonna dig around the rocks and explore and see if we can hopefully find any seams that they left behind because there was some really good stuff they got at this mine. But once it gets dark, we're gonna use the UV light and find the autonite because under UV light, it glows. If you haven't seen the last video, you can check it out here. Let's get to it, right? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Here's the autonite mine. At one point, they got museum quality stuff out of here. So according to geologic map, there was a fault here. So I'm assuming at one point, the autonite was following the fault or the fault broke and then fluids or whatever bearing the autonite mineral filled in the area and then they came and mined it all out and it looks like there's nothing left in these rocks jesse and i just dug around looking to see if there was any signs and there is not so looks like we're stuck with digging in the tailing piles using the black light and yeah, there's one right there Let's see what jesse's working on Got a couple of really tiny ones in there. There's one right, I do. A little one right here that I'm about to, I'm gonna pull out. Oh, Super see. tiny, as usual. <laughs> Fighting all the forest fires. Moved to a different tailing pile, and there's some decent ones right in there. It's all the smaller ones around it. There's a whole bunch more right here. A whole bunch of tiny versions of it, a whole bunch of small stuff, I mean. Larger chunk there, but it just makes the whole soil look like it's glowing. There's more here, you got that flake there. You can see it glowing all through the soil. Especially right there, look at that. It's crazy. I'm just getting them with little tweezers like this. Come on. There we go. And dropped it. There we go. It's all over this rock. There's one on this rock right here. That looks really cool. It's not bad. Oh no, it just blew up into a thousand pieces. At least we'll get that one. Here's what I got so far. Look at all that. It's crazy. It is dark now. Thanks for my piles I pushed through. You can definitely see all those flakes. There's my stuff I've collected. There's a flake there. Yeah, it's almost too bright on the camera. <laughs> it is now pretty dark. The owls are hooting in the distance. I just found this decent flake. It's a little dirty. If I cleaned it off, it'd look better. Not bad. All right, so we're at the halfway point of the video, and this is not the end of the video. 
So we went there for one day, one night, with the Vansky light, which is the original black light we've been using. And then another day, we got the more fancier UV beast light, which you're going to see for the next part of the video. And I just want to quickly show the differences between these, because this light is not the one we mainly use anymore. This is a vast improvement, and I want to show that off. So let me kill the lights, and we'll look at these samples that I have here of Autonite on the hard rock. So here we have the hard rock Autonite, with the Autonite being visible here. So the first part of the video, this is what we were using, the Vansky light, which is, I believe, a 12 to $15 black light, and it does an okay job. We, I have since upgraded to the UV beast light, which is this light here is about uh, $90 to $80, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it. And now you can see the vast difference in the Autonite that is in this rock, because this will show you a whole lot more compared to the Vansky light. Again, the Vansky light, and the more expensive UV beast light. There is a huge difference. And for the second half of this video, this is what we're going to be using to find the Autonite. So we went on a different day, and we used the upgraded version of the light. If you're interested in getting this light for yourself to use for your own explorations, I'll have a link in my Amazon storefront. You can pick one of these up. That would be great. So, on to the second half of the video, where we use this light to find more Autonite. So this is with the UV beast light. If you look right here, you can see all that autonite just lighting up. It's everywhere. Let me zoom in so you can see that better. But yeah, you can just see the autonite just glowing everywhere I put this. Now let's switch to the old lights that we used to use. Here's the old light that we used to use. You can just barely see it even po poking up and it's very faint and dull with this light. So the other light is obviously much more superior and it's not even dark out yet. So the plan is we're going to collect as much Autonite as possible and we might even do some walking around with these new lights to see what we've missed with the old because the in some circumstances the old lights wouldn't pick up any of the Autonite at all and with these new lights they have been revealing a whole lot more so definitely worth it and there's a frog croaking in the distance. <laughs> Alright so uh, running in the problems with some of these bigger ones that we're finding is uh they disintegrate really easily, but look at the glow on that. That's just so intense. There's the natural green of it there, and you can see it puts on its own light show. It's so crazy what these UV lights can do. Right, let me see if I can grab this thing without um, it disintegrating. Oh yeah, it's just falling apart. Yeah, there's nothing left to get of it. Oh, actually, right there. So there it is. A ton of it. You can just see all the powder. Crazy. So I'm digging right here now, and you can just see all the autonite. And I just found this delicate chunk right over here. Let me get it for you. Look at the size of that one. It's hard to get it to focus on in this light, but that's a decent chunk there. Just big old octonite. my hand for reference if you can see that <laughs> all right guys so I just found another big flake look at how much it lights up there's so much of the smaller powder everywhere but let me grab this right here look at that yikes that's big nice little big fat flake awesome scrape through all this it's just crazy how much there is it's everywhere oh another flake look at that get that right Ooh. yeah you see the you can't even see it on camera but you can see the glow off camera let me bring it in for you guys look at that it's 
This is amazing. This is so fun. It's awesome. In awe with the awe tonight. It's like a galaxy of candy. Glow, <laughs> forbidden glow candy. <laughs> Just sitting here listening to the crickets, digging through all this amazing uranium. Ah, tonight, there's another decent little flake right there. Not bad. All right, guys, it's getting dark, so it's hard to see what you, well, it's harder for you guys to see, I mean, because it's dark. But I want to see if I can get you to see what it's like for the digging, the digging process. So I'm just lightly scraping the dirt and once in a while you get these chunks that show up. Like that one there. Unfortunately, sometimes I'll be digging and I'll blow up a big one. But sometimes if I get lucky, I can find them without destroying them. But there are so much of this stuff. There's, it's ridiculous. The really small stuff I try to ignore. The bigger chunks I will grab. Ooh, there we go. There's a chunk right there. There we go. Look at that thing glow. That is really cool. Not bad. Into the collection. You can just see the powder of this stuff everywhere. It is ridiculous. Alright, so unfortunately my other light died, so I'm back to using the cheaper one. But it looks like that using the cheaper light makes it easier for the camera for you guys to see what I'm working with. The mobs like this as much as I do. Look at that chunk there. How neat is that? And it's hard to get it to focus when it's this dark and the light's contrasting so much, but not bad. Ah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a run. Look at that. Nice. You can kind of see it there without the full light on it, but as soon as I put more of the light on it, it just blinding green. Pretty sweet. It's hard to film when it's this dark because, uh, oh, there we go. You can actually see it now. Cool. But, and yeah, when it's this dark, it's hard to do much filming because it's really hard for you guys to see when it's dark. So maybe towards the end, I'll have, uh, the stuff back at the shop and we can get a better look at it later on. We'll see how much more filming I'll do. It's starting to get late. Hopefully I can find some bigger chunks. All right, this is gonna end it for today's dig, tonight's dig anyways, and uh, probably show off a lot of the ah uh, tonight here at the end, so you can get a better look at it. We are gonna head out. It is getting late. We did a fair amount of digging, found some bigger pieces. So, see you at the end of the video, and we'll show you what we got. All right, so after that night, got some decent chunks of ah uh, tonight, much bigger than what I've originally been getting out of there, or what we've originally been getting out, because, we're used to the smaller stuff, not this larger chunks of it. Um, let's see if I have any coins nearby. Like this uh, nickel here. I have a nickel. And these, some of these are pretty close to the size of a nickel. Roughly. But we started digging in different parts of the tailing piles at the mine and it seems like there's larger chunks in the other sections of the mine. <laughs> but I want to show you again the Vansky light here, which is a cheaper light. It does a basic okay job, but the UV beast light definitely is far more superior. lights up a whole lot more. It makes it a whole lot easier to see these when we're actually at the mine digging around. But definitely have a lot of good chunks. Um, of course, autonite is radioactive. I get a lot of questions about the dangers of this stuff, which, I mean, 
as long as you're not around it all the time and you're not eating it or you know breathing in the particles of dust you should be fine like I can put this in my hand and it's all right to do that just don't do that for a long period of time and the other thing is you want to make sure to wash your hands afterwards because you can see particles break off and you might not notice it but I have now uranium particles on my hands so wash your hands if you come in contact with this I recommend wearing gloves if you're going to handle this because it is radioactive material so make sure you have some sort of caution around this stuff. So, so when we first start going to the octonaut mine, this is originally the sizes of, that we were pulling out, which these are quite small. What did I do with that nickel? It's over here. Here it is. For scale, you can see they're quite small, small particles of octonite, and uh, even have little sample containers that we've been putting it in. And this stuff is not bad, but this stuff here is definitely a large improvement in size and there seems to be a good quantity of, quantity of this stuff in the certain tailing piles so definitely should be going back there at some point it's a lot of fun collecting this especially when it's darker at night I wish I could make my room here a little darker to show you this stuff off but it is pretty spectacular a lot of people seem to like it so this will pretty much wrap up the video got some comparisons of what we started off finding when we first visited the uranium mine and what we're getting now, which is a big size difference. So hopefully we'll find some larger chunks in the future when we go back. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people love the Austinite. I know I do. It's pretty spectacular when it's under the UV light. Gotta love that glow. So this will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I uh, hope to get more videos uploaded here soon, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all again soon.